I'm gonna collect the blood for the progesterone. Again, this is just practice. It's not as hard as it seems. But it does take practice because some dogs you can't really see the vein in them. Okay, you wanna constrict this and twist the leg a little bit so you can feel the vein so it comes out. Okay, you see you, you can't really hear feel it here. You wanna put your thumb against where you feel the vein and all you do is you put in the little tip with the hole facing you and as soon as you see blood that's it you don't need to push it in more or nothing just a little bit and then start pulling backwards there's the blood and then you just start pulling backwards slowly And I like to get about five cc's. And then you press your thumb against here. You wait a couple of seconds so no blood comes back out. Okay, so it's done. You want to get a red top tube. Flush the blood down the side of it really slowly so you don't break any red blood cells. And I let it sit for about 15 minutes. So the first day she was at 1.48 in, in her progesterone. The second day she was at 2.47. Yesterday she was at 9.33. So she ovulated two days ago like at midnight. Five nanograms is when they ovulate. So we'll check in a little bit and see what her progesterone levels are today. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're gonna collect the blood for the progesterone. You wanna clean the area really well. All right. You want the hole facing you. And you wanna feel the vein, okay? And all you do, you just, you press it a little bit until you see blood in the needle there you go you see it's right there and then you just withdraw slowly and that's it you don't need to be poking around or pushing it like that it's right over the vein okay and then you constrict it for a little bit so no blood comes out and you're done so now we're gonna do the progesterone test. You wanna slide down the blood really slow down the side of the test tube. All right, so we have the five cc's. And now I let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. The more you let it sit, the better serum you're gonna get. So I wait until it coagulates and we're gonna run the test. Okay, so we're gonna take at least five cc's of blood from the female. Okay, you wanna clean it with alcohol. And what you do is you press here and push up and you can feel the vein. Okay. You want the hole facing you. And 
finish. There you go. Okay, so we have five cc's of blood. Good girl. And you want to put it in a little red top too. You want to slide down the blood, down the wall of the tube, very slowly, so you don't break the red blood cells. Okay, and we close it, and you want to let it sit for about 15 minutes. The longer you let it sit, the better serum you're going to get. Okay, so let's let it sit for 15 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna do the blood collection today. I'm gonna do it here. So you wanna put alcohol. You wanna put something to restrain so the vein pops out a little bit. Okay. And we're gonna check her progesterone levels and see how they are today. According to the Jerminski, I should start inseminating today. But, I go by progesterone. Okay, you want the hole facing you. Okay, you want to feel the vein. And some dogs is very hard because you can't even see them or feel them. But practice makes perfect. All right, so when you feel it, and all you do is you put in the tip until you see blood in the needle, okay? And that's all you need to do. You don't want to push it hard. You don't. You just leave it there and and pull the needle backwards. Then you press here, so no blood comes out. And that's it. Let's go spin this blood. 